It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. Tuesday night NBA action. We've got the Atlanta Hawks at the Indiana Pacers. Welcome to the Line Makers on Sporting News. I'm Micah Roberts with Rick Heron. And Ricky, the Atlanta Hawks, uh, <laughs> we saw Saturday night. They welcomed a Bulls team that didn't have Carlos Bruiser. They didn't have Noah. And they ended up losing by and, 17 points. And they scored 76 and, in the game. But you know what, Mike? The, the, the Hawks have actually been a better road team. I mean, yeah. against the spread than they are at home. They're 500 against the spread on the road. They're under 500 at home. So The thing I see right now lately with the Hawks, ever since Lou Williams went down, they've had to rely on a lot more people. John Jenkins being one of them. Can't fill it up like Lou Williams. And obviously not like Joe Johnson. Lou Williams was a great asset, a great addition to the team. They didn't miss Johnson as much. Now you're seeing Kyle Korver, instead of playing 27, 28 minutes, he's got to play 42 to 43 minutes a game. And he's a defensive liability, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. And, you know, you go farther down in, in depth, and it's going to it's gonna affect you. But on the road, I mean, the, the Hawks lost by two at the Knicks. They lost by, what, five at the Nets in the last couple of weeks. And uh, the Pacers, on the other hand, 13 straight home wins going into Monday night's wow. game against the Bulls. Beat the Heat twice. Uh, beat the Rockets, beat the Knicks, beat the Grizzlies. They've been terrific at home, 13-8 and eight against the spread. And they got revenge on their mind as well. The spread's a little high here. We're thinking about seven, seven and a half with the home team. But the Atlanta Hawks won both games in Atlanta this season against the Pacers, so might weigh a little bit on the minds of, of the Pacers here. And they've just been so solid, even without Danny Granger this year, just a great, complete ball club. Uh, one of the better teams in the East. Uh, yeah, I, I, but I do think it'll probably be a close game. Like I'd kind of lean towards the under, if anything. And the under has been a great spot for the Pacers this season. They have the second most unders in the NBA this season, just behind the Memphis Grizzlies. That's a side you want to look at. 